Sleeping on the job, I see. What? Can't say that it never happened to me. Oh, there they are. I knew I'd find them here. Are you okay? You were talking in your sleep. Just a bad dream. Baron's looking for you. We've got visitors that she wants you to meet. Visitors? A tech comm unit. At least what's left of it. Just a heads up. Something's going on. Everyone's walking around nervous. Thanks. They're waiting for you. Come back later and let me know what's happening. Soldier? I appreciate you taking us in, Commander. I was sorry to hear about your team. Fucking ambush. I'll write it in the report. That can wait. New orders have come in for you. Excuse me? You're moving out right away. We just lost three men. Me and Pharaoh need some time to recuperate. I'm afraid that's not possible. Northridge Outpost has gone silent. You need to go there, find out what happened, and... What? Check if their radio's on? You know that Skynet's been jamming our signal. That may be true, but you'll still need to see to this personally. What the hell's going on, Baron? Look, it doesn't make sense to me either. I could have sent a team of my own. They'd already be there, and we would know what went wrong. So? Why didn't you? Because the order's coming directly from John Connor. He insisted it be you. Okay. So what's the plan? Go to Northridge, find out what happened. Then escort the people there back to safety. Their withdrawal is long overdue. Word is that you captured a new Terminator model. That's right. An infiltration unit. Our top scientist is running an analysis on it as we speak. Does that have anything to do with this mission? The last we heard from Northridge was that they liberated a group of scavengers. So that's certainly a possibility. I see. Jacob Rivers here helped us capture the new model. He'll be joining you along with Evans, as per Connor's request. Okay, Rivers. So you can tell an infiltrator from one of us. What else can you do? So you're a marksman. Good. We need sharp eyes out there. All right. Check the supply crate and gather your equipment. Looks like we're moving out soon. Get ready. We got a long drive ahead of us. What do you think about the team? Corporal Farrow's a good fighter. I've been working with her for years. You and Evans? I'll wait until I know you better. But I'll postpone the introductions till we're on the road. What do you think about this mission? In normal circumstances, I would say that the mission is straightforward. 
but I would have appreciated some advance warning. But these are not normal circumstances. Nothing is normal when Connor's involved. You're gonna learn that very soon. Why do you think John Connor selected us for this mission? He must have his reasons, he always does. To be perfectly honest, I learned a long time ago not to ask too many questions. Why? He's got this uncanny ability of putting the right people in the right places at the right time. That's a great skill to have when you're the commander of the entire Resistance. So when John Connor vouches for you, I already know you'll do your job well. Rivers, a word with you. Seems like you've been appointed a special task, alongside Kyle Reese, no less. Just so you know, regardless of what happens, there's always a place for you here. Is something wrong? Every once in a while, an assignment comes along that nothing can prepare you for. I fear that this might be such an assignment. I hope that Connor made a wise decision selecting you for this mission. Besides, I need all the bodies I can get here. Any other questions? Who's Evans? I've never seen him before. He joined us not too long ago. He's a survivor from another division, just like you. A sharpshooter. That's all I know, since he doesn't talk much. Which I appreciate. Can we trust him? He could ask me the same question about you. If you're concerned, you can always take it up with Connor. He appointed him to this mission in the first place. What can you tell me about Kyle Reese? He's Connor's right-hand man. Can't blame him for wanting to keep Reese close. He's a great soldier, completely devoted to the cause. Did you serve together? Yes, we did. We used to serve under Perry. Back then, we were naive enough to think that T-600 rubbers were as bad as things could get. Good times. After that, I became the field commander, and he joined the North Division. Now we only catch each other between missions. He's too busy doing special tasks for Connor. Uh, what's the status on that second generation plasma rifle? Alvin is still working on it. So, there's a chance he'll have that gun ready before my return? I wouldn't hold your breath. Our professor doesn't have a stellar record when it comes to reprogramming Skynet technology. We're still looking for a spider scout he lost somewhere in the shelter. Yeah, what if he can't hack that plasma? I don't even want to think about the alternative at this point. Good luck, soldier. We're heading out already. All set? Rivers, open the gate. We're moving out. <laughs> 